friends hello welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Leah. if you're new and i'm so happy to have you here today's video is going to be a reading vlog we're going to be mood reading for the week we're going to be reading the au pair affair by tessa bailey and not another love song by julie santo i had so much fun doing this reading vlog and i really hope you guys enjoy and let's just get into it vibes <laughs> to give a reading update that we have finished the first book in this vlog which is the au pair fair by tessa bailey um i'm gonna give this a three out of five yeah i was gonna do a 3.75 but no i think this book is a three out of five i don't think it was anything significant um or crazy i think it's like very stereotypical tessa bailey if you read her other books her writing is pretty similar to her other series so I think the like writing style and things was pretty similar however I did like this more than I liked the first book the first book was good I do think this one was better very surface level in my opinion this was a little bit more like deeper and had more of a deeper meaning to it but I did really like it I mean it was fine I don't think it's anything memorable it did take me a while to read this book though um, it's probably taken me like three weeks in total to read it. So book number 34 down for the year. We have 35 is my goal. So, you know, we have some other things. But I want to pick a new book with you guys. These are my two options. Love in Other Words and Not Another Love Song. I kind of want to read Not Another Love Song because... I don't know I'm kind of feeling this and it seems like it'll be good but this is an OG and so many people love this book and I also have this book on my Kindle so I was like maybe I should you know give it a read kind of go from there I have been really wanting to read physical copy books or listen to them via audio I'm not really in a Kindle mood lately for some reason I've just really been enjoying getting back to physical books and I do that sometimes I, I go you know back and forth sometimes I want to read a book on my kindle and sometimes I want a book on this I think I just want a book that's a little bit more depth um the books I've been reading lately have been just very surface level and not really something that I care about really like I don't feel connected to the characters and so I think that these two books will definitely get me connected to the characters more i really want to start another love song but i honestly think i'm gonna read christina lauren's love in other words let's see that's kind of where i'm feeling we'll probably get to this probably in this vlog though i definitely think maybe this one i don't know maybe we should just do like a number generator or something i don't know i'm just like these are both good because i just read the back of this this sounds really good okay but let's do love in other words not another love song is what we're gonna go with i think this is good it's just not calling me it seems like there's a lot happening and there's like multiple timelines i don't love books with multiple timelines it's not like my favorite so i think not another love song will be really good and look at this cover isn't it just fucking gorgeous like it's so gorgeous so let's start this one and then maybe we'll get to this one at another time but i am very excited i do need to get my bookmark i actually got these bookmarks from hannah grace team sent this to me because i pre-ordered her book on kindle and i still haven't read it yet and i hopefully will read it at some point but i got these two free bookmarks and some stickers and i'm very happy about that so let's get started on this book i don't know if i'm gonna start it tonight but i'll definitely have an update for you guys tomorrow and i'm very excited so one book down and another one to go hi friends hello happy wednesday i have not read all day and it is 8 p.m so we're gonna go ahead and get some reading in I read to page four, so not that much, but we're going to go ahead and do some reading. It's 8.30 or like 8.40 around that time, so I'm trying to be asleep by 10 p.m., but so far this has been pretty interesting. I mean, four pages in, nothing too serious, but I really want to get a good, I want to say 20, 30 pages today to kind of really get into the book to see if I really like it. So let's do some reading. Okay friends, I wanted to give a quick update. 
I'm about 14 pages in, so we've read about 10 pages. This book is good. <laughs> no, no, I'm really liking it. No, I'm really liking it. Um, but yeah, I'm really liking it. That's all I have to say. Gwen is so interesting. I don't know, like, uh, I love books about music and it's just like, this is so cute. Um, and so she just interacted with Xander who is called Alex and I'm trying to think if they mentioned him in the last book because I didn't read Forget Me Not fully but I did read like I don't know 10-12% of the book. They're at the wedding um, and it's been really good so far so I'm hoping to get to page 30 tonight and then I'll give you an update once we get to it and before I head to bed tonight. Okay, y'all, I'm going to bed, but I wanted to say I am three chapters in and I'm on page, I'm on page 37 and no, because why is he in love with her? No, why is he in love with her? Why is he in love with her? No, no, why is he in love with her? Yeah, yeah. I am loving this book, y'all. I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a night though and I will catch you guys tomorrow morning. Hi friends, hello, happy Thursday. It's Thursday morning, it's around 11. I just got back from the dog park. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna get some reading done. I don't really have anything else in the docket today. I really wanted to get some reading in because I would at least like to get a good dent of this book done before the end of this vlog because we only have today, tomorrow, and Saturday. And Saturday is when I'm ending this vlog so we can go up Sunday. Um, but I wanna get some kind of bits and pieces in. So I'm gonna make myself a latte and then we're going to start the book. I'm on chapter three, page 37 or page 36. And I said yesterday I want to get to 20, 30 pages and I definitely flew through this really fast. Um, this book is really good and I'm really enjoying it so far. So we'll, we'll keep up the stakes, but I have been really enjoying this. So we're gonna try to get to page 100 today. I wanna get to 100 pages because 100 pages is when I know I'll like a book or not. I usually, the first 100 pages, is like when you get really the story going and so I really want to get to page 100 today and just kind of see if I'm going to continue on but I am very excited and this is very good and I'm already loving Xavier and I just like I and I love Gwen I love how like Xavier I feel like he's going to be like a tortured artist and Gwen is just like this girl who still has so much to prove but together they like make beautiful music and I just like I'm just at the part where he just like was like let's practice together and she's like fuck off <laughs> and I'm like yes queen fuck off so I am excited so let's make myself a little latte and then get some music going probably just some lo-fi music and we're gonna sit in my nice big chair or we're gonna sit on the couch not really sure yet um and get some reading done so yeah still Thursday but I kind of had a busier day the last thing you tell me I was reading in my chair outside I did a couple of things I have been reading today I went to dinner with my friends so I was reading in the car I am about 65 pages in at this point and I really have been liking it it's starting to I just read a chapter by Alex or Xander's perspective and it was a pretty short chapter I think it was only like two pages or yeah, it was only, yeah, it was only like two pages or two, yeah, two pages. And this man is in love with her. No, because he's in love with her. There's some things that he said in here that I kind of just like highlight. The reason I'm not highlighting in this book, honestly, I highlighted a lot of The Next Best Fling, which is honestly, I would say my favorite book this year, easily hand down. Um, I read that book in August, I believe, August, September, I, August. And I still think about it once a day. Like I love that book that will always live in my heart. But 
I like tapped the fuck out of that book. Like I read it and like highlighted so much and it was just such a good book. And that the author who was a Davy author is her first book um, and it really blew up. She is coming out with another book and I will be getting that copy as well. But I really love that book but it's tabbed all on the side so when I put it into my bookshelf it's just tab bitch and <laughs> I don't know if I want to do that but this book there's so many things I've wanted to tab because it is really good like this book is really good and honestly it kind of makes me want to go back and read forget me not but I didn't like forget me not but sometimes you know you just need to do something different so I have really been enjoying this so far hoping to get to 100 pages tonight um and then we can kind of keep picking up and going from there <music> Friday yes yeah, Friday and I have a reading update but I'm in love with this book I, I I'm kind of shocked how much I like this book it is so good um yeah it's so good I'm on page 114 I am on Alex's chapter or Xander's chapter um yeah so I read about page like 82 last night and then I went to bed and I woke up this morning and from page 82 to now I have read like 40 pages and that is <laughs> not 40 but well so yeah so good I it's currently like 9 30 i think almost 10. also you can hear my dishwasher i'm so sorry yeah so she is like progressing in the story i don't know what to say that wouldn't be a spoiler that's why i keep looking back on the book it's it's getting good i don't want to say too much because i don't want to like spoil anything but i feel like the first 100 pages though and i said this before that like in a in the first 100 pages i know if i'm gonna like the book and it's past the first 100 pages and i think this is a good book and I, i'm really enjoying it i hope you guys can see me well but i wanted to get a reading update because i don't really think i've updated you guys that much today so i have made it to page 215. i think when i last talked to you guys i was probably around 115 pages in or something along that line i have read so much with this book today i i think i'm pretty much at the 75 percent point so i haven't like I haven't flown through a book like this probably since Fourth Wing. Like I feel like or the Elsie Silver series. I like this book is so interesting. And that's what I think keeping me is that the book itself is so interesting. And I think also because I have a music background, like that's also why. Like I just I feel it because I remember what it was like to be in band and marching band and like close my eyes and just do the movements do the marches and play my heart out like this has made me miss being a, a clarinetist like this has made me miss music and I'm like maybe I should get back into it because I felt music in my bones and I've, I've always been a big music person I love music but like band was the place where I felt I belong I realized now new girl was playing in the background so I really hope y'all can hear me and not the new girl this book is so good honestly um Heather McLary on here I love her videos I literally watch every single one of her videos I love her so much she makes awesome videos go check her out but she read this book and she loved it and I believe she said she didn't read forget me not so that is kind of what inspired me to pick this one up because I wasn't really sure I was gonna read it because it didn't like forget me not but this is just so good Xander and Gwen 
like I like when they are describing when she's describing the concert scenes I feel it like I feel it in my bones how she's playing you know the picking I'm like oh my god I feel it and maybe that's because again I have a music background like it's a well written book and I like she's very descriptive I feel like I'm there I feel like I'm hearing things I feel like I'm in the moment I feel like I'm in a movie but like I feel so connected to these characters um and I just love it it's for sure it's gonna be one of my favorite reads of the year I, I do think it's gonna be high up there um yeah like I don't want to put this down but it's also almost 11 p.m and I need to go to bed but yeah Okay friends, it is Sunday night. I was hoping to finish this vlog last night, but it just didn't go to plan and that's okay. But I have finished Not Another Love Song by Julie Santo. This book was incredible. It was a masterpiece and these characters will live with me for the rest of my life. I love this book. This book was deeply complex. The characters were complex, the relationships, but what I love the most is the side characters within the story and kind of how it all wraps up, how everyone kind of is like a red string theory in a way, like everyone's kind of connected. And yeah, I, I love this book. This was very well written six out of five stars so incredible like i literally just finished it and i'm just like god in the ending oh and like how it wrapped up oh my god my heart i i love this book i love it it was beautiful simply beautiful but yeah i finished my reading goal for the year so all the books i read after this are just for shits and giggles thank you so much for watching this video y'all i had so much fun filming this and please let me know if you guys want to see more reading vlogs this is my second one on the channel so let me know if you guys want to see more of this and i'm gonna to go to sleep but thank you so much for watching i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i will see you soon bye <laughs>